So we are doing a unit called Medical Detectives, and it's a Project Lead the Way uh, unit. Today they are uh, showing you what they learned in the vital signs lab that they did. Okay, so we're going to be taking respiratory rate. It's right here. He's going to be feeling on his chest for his breaths and what's happening. Over here, she is a 30-second timer, and he's counting how many breaths he's taking. For an adult, what normally like the average respiratory rate is would be like 12 to 20. How many ever breaths he takes, he's going to multiply it by two, and that'll be what the respiratory rate is. Uh, you would check the respiratory rate to see like if something's wrong about him, if he's breathing really fast or breathing really slow, something could be wrong. We're finding the pulse on his wrist, but you cannot use your thumb because it will mess up the pulse rate. If you timed it for 10 seconds, you just have to multiply his pulse by six. If you did it for 30 seconds, you'd have to multiply it by two. His pulse was 60 exactly after I multiplied it. If like someone's passed out or something laying on the ground, you have to take it to see if they're alive. We're working on blood pressure. You slide the cuff up so that it's a few inches above the bend in your arm. And you have to make sure the cord goes down that part of your arm. And you're not supposed to talk, and you're supposed to just relax. If this number is higher than 120, your heart is working harder than average, and you might need to calm down or do something about that. And if it's lower than 120, it means that your heart isn't working hard enough and it could stop. When it's too high, either they're already having a heart attack or it's a possibility that they might have one. And if it's too low, their heart could stop if it's not like working hard enough. And we're doing temperature and they have the temperatures in their mouth and the average temperature is 98.6 degrees. Hers was 98.2. You read it by these things, you see whatever the side numbers are and then those are the main and then you go to the points and then whatever dot it lines up to like on a graph, that's how it works. We all have human bodies that, that sometimes are not feeling well. Something happens at home or you're out playing with your friends or something happens in a restaurant. You have some basic skills. It doesn't mean that you're a doctor now, but um, you, know, you can feel confident to be able to do some preliminary things. So I've had kids already tell me, I really want to be an EMT or I really want to be a, a nurse. And so it's already starting to kind of get them thinking in that direction. And it just gives them confidence that they're actually able to do it.